Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 180. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, I am fattened up. I have eaten my food uh, and we're going to start off with the Class B World Championship. Uh, this is going to be six races, but I believe this is going to be split into two episodes. I'll obviously see whether it will be when I come to editing it. I don't see why it wouldn't. But uh, we're going to start off with Sebring. Then we're moving on to Circuit de Catalunya, Sedona Raceway Park, Silverstone, Suzuka, and then New York Circuit. Let's get going. ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba 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 this guy actually made his life experience better than video experience. 100%. I'd agree with that. 100%. But the only problem is... Hello, viewers. Come join the stream, lol. Hello, viewers. Super GT here. I love Super GT. But yeah. Um, obviously, the live streams are a million times better. I'd much rather people actually come tune in to the streams than the videos, for example. But I also like the fact that the videos are there for people to come and see in the future. Um, or if people prefer to just watch a little bit of Forza every now and then, the videos are there for them as well. I'm covering all bases. Bases? Bases. I don't know, we're sticking with it. And we don't feel right. A bassist. I'm drifting! See, that is also another problem and a good reason why I'm getting the capture card. Because of the delay on the capture card, I can't, if I'm looking over at chat, rely on the preview. Because the delay is enough that I completely throw every single corner that I do. If I'm looking at it in relative to a breaking zone, I'll mess up. Metro! <laughs> I have to do it every time. Metro! That's such a good song. A new Spider-Man film. Room. Such a good soundtrack. The music's a bit quiet. Fair enough. Oh my gosh! I'm, I'm trying to do a million things at once! Ah. Right, drive. Right, I've turned the music up a bit. Should be fine. Honda, get out of the way! Get out of the way, bitch!
such a good, such a good song. Spider-Man, Spider-Verse film, because you had Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, the new one's across the Spider-Verse, and then there's a third one. They're basically the same name, it's confusing. But yeah, the first one definitely had a better soundtrack, but this song is... It's just quite a quiet song. My life will lose my love. That's the nightmare I've been running from. Uh, I'd recommend watching it sooner rather than later because I don't know if it's gonna be on after Friday. I think this next Friday is the last so Thursday and then Friday onwards I think they're not going to show it anymore because I can't see them still showing it when uh, it's been out for over a month now and they've got Barbie and Oppenheimer coming out next Friday Is the tickets already booked, or is it just you planned it and are planning on seeing it? And die at the same time. Let's go. If it's already booked, then you should be fine then. Zeno, are you going to see the new Gran Turismo movie? Because I'm going to be watching it day one. <laughs> Once the Gran Turismo movie comes out, I, I'm enjoying myself. I'm going to be watching Gran Turismo. I'm so excited for it. 9th of August, I believe. Fuck the Gran Turismo movie. Why? It actually looks quite good. Well, yeah, if you play Gran Turismo, it looks cringy. Because you think... It's just all... It looks cool, actually, surprisingly. Because I was concerned that it would just be about this kid that plays... Gran Turismo and whatnot, and just plays. Yeah, but I think that sort of brings it more back to reality more, makes it less cringy. But then again, that's probably why people think it's cringy, because gamers hate the idea of romance, so... And die at the same time. Die at the same time. I love that song so much. He said to lose my life or lose my love. Ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> Capable of processing romance. That explains it then. That explains why you think it's cringy. <laughs> Thank you. 
still under. Ruins, or relics, disciples, and the young. What a tune. What a fucking tune, lad! What a tune. It's about C-H-O-O-N. McDonald's as well, at the moment, they've got the Biscoff McFlurry. So it's just Biscoff Biscuit with caramel sauce. It's so nice. It's so good. They're also doing a ch double chocolate pies. So the apple pies, instead of it being, you know, apple with pastry, it's chocolate pastry with a chocolate filling. And obviously you stick that in a milkshake. It's so good. Do all people in the UK have bad taste or just you? Uh, to be fair, the UK does have quite bad taste. But then again, so does pretty much... I've, I've seen some of the things that America has. And America is not great either. Do, do. deep. That's not what she said. <laughs> oh! See, that's what happens when I look at the preview. Because the preview is so delayed. Is there a subway? In the UK? There is, but I I don't know whether the UK subway is linked to like the rest of the subways. But subways stop letting you pick what you want in your sub. So, or more more realistically, they basically increased the amount of the subs, but they then made a set list of subs at standard price that it was before they raised the price of subs so that they could excuse increasing the price of subs, basically. So you can either have Subway pick what you have in your sub off of the set menu, and it will cost you £10 for a sub, which is fucking insane. Or you can create your own, but it will cost you a little bit more. Like, I'll be honest, I think it's a little bit stupid. The whole point of Subway was the fact that you went there, you can make your own sub, and you could have as much as you wanted in it, like salads-wise and whatnot. And you'd have your own sub. Apparently, that's not how Subway works in the UK anymore. Now, I don't... Here's the thing, right? Business is out there. I don't understand who they hire, but they hire the biggest morons in the world. You look at Subway, for example. What moron up in head office decided... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's the Subway series. I think that's what they've called it. But some moron has gone right. You know this thing that our company is really good for? The fact that you can create your own subway? Well, let's make a set menu that you can't do that anymore unless you pay us extra. Great idea. No, it's not.
fucking stupid. Plus, it makes it even worse because now the employees have to remember how to make subs. Whereas before, they could just go, do you want this? Do you want that? Do you want that? It's not even just business. Like, it's just stupidity. Like, it costs them in the end. Because people just don't go to Subway then. Like, business, I always thought, and it, clearly it's just changing, but businesses are supposed to make money. And a lot of businesses nowadays are making decisions that lose them a lot of money. Out of stupidity. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. And it makes no sense. You look at Nintendo, for example. Right? A company that could quite easily make millions if they made remasters of their old games. If you want a special order, you should pay more. But that's how Subway always was. That's the point I'm making. They're basically saying, oh, if you want to have your sub how we used to, you now have to pay more. Like, that's... That doesn't make sense. But on top of that, you look, you look at uh, companies like Nintendo that will sit there and they'll send their lawyers out to sue anyone that makes either emulators or uh, software mods or anything like that for their old games wait okay yeah for kind of makes sense in a way but the problem is you, they would earn so much it costs them to send lawyers to do cease and desist they don't get any return on investment whereas if they were to just you know take some of these old classics Get a small team, get the Dolphin team, for example, hire them, and get them to remaster all these games and sell them on the store. They'd be making lots of money, and people wouldn't be so pissed off at them, because they wouldn't have to do cease and desists. Win-win. Like, it's quite an easy decision. They'd be getting money, as opposed to just paying for lawyers to stop it. Like, it confuses the fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I've refused to go back to Subway. Because for the amount that it is, it's extortionate prices. They don't offer a lot for the amount of money. I mean, to charge ten pounds for a what is a one pound loaf of bread. Ever since I went to Subway, McDonald's has been tasting like shit. I mean, yeah. Subway's quality isn't much better, though. Like, the only thing that makes Subway's quality somewhat decent is the fact that they use fresh veg and lettuce and whatnot. McDonald's, yeah, they use it, but it's, like... It's only the lettuce that's, like, fresh. The rest of it is just... Bleh. It's actually quite a nice uh, noodle bar near where I live at the moment now. Um, it's just opened up and it's about £6.50, £7 for a box of noodles with, and you can pick what like meat and stuff you want on it. Um, but I could quite easily get like 
I'm like 5'4". No. What makes you think I'm 5'4"? I'm so much taller than that. I'm 6'1". Imagine people in the UK are short. Yeah, you, you imagine pretty wrong then. I think the average height is about 5'11 in the UK. Um, yeah, British people are American people are shorter than British people. I don't even know who the short is. People are. Fair enough. Anything above like five six is fairly tall, to be honest. Oh, what the fuck? The fuck was that? Another day. I'll take it, whatever it was. Yo, nightly competition, what up? Welcome back. Same AM I've been wanting to get. Honestly, the, the Vanquish is quite a nice car. All right. Let's do this. Bam, 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 bam. That's probably not ideal, because, I mean, for me to be satisfied, I only need one, maybe two, if I'm hungry. So. Because tomorrow is another day. BBS! Best rims of any rim manufacturer. <clears throat> BBS make the best tyres. They look so cool. My favourite brands. <coughs> is it the... <clears throat> I believe it's the Impreza that comes with BBS rims. Fair enough. Nice. That Honda NSX is quite nice as well. I really like that car. Quite oh, cool. Another day. It's the other, uh, what's the other one? Sunlight. 
Sunlight hurts my eyes. That's got the drum and bass ending. That one's pretty good. Song. Roof scoop on the NSX looks like a shark fin. I quite like it. Gives it that race car look. Because a lot of cars on the road just don't have any sort of character to it. At least if you look at that NSX, you know, ah, that's that NSX. It's a defining feature of it. I actually quite like it. Do I play ACC? Uh, new. I play it every so often to like mess about in it, but it's not my cup of tea. I'm not really into like full on sim racing. Because I, I find full on motorsport sim racing is quite tedious. Because um, there's not really much excitement. A lot of the AIs and a lot of the people that play are pretty good at it so there's not too much to get excited over whereas arcade racing is a little more unpredictable it's built for excitement so in terms of games i'd much rather play something like this um i do have a wheel but i can't set it up at the moment i have no space to set it up so, Yeah, I suppose if you're not in, into that kind of stuff, then not really much an arcade game can do for you. I quite enjoy it, so... Yeah. I'm not competitive at all, so... Um, I don't really care about being the fastest or the slowest or whatnot. Um, I'm just playing to enjoy a video game, so... Whether I'm the fastest or not, really could not give two shits. Why is it playing twice? And why does it say a different song name? There we go. Now it's working. Day and night. This is a tune. Ah, 
fair enough. Yeah, I've never, never really experienced a bug like that with um, Project Cars. But then again, whenever I'm playing Project Cars, I'll always do it in VR. So, I mean, that could have happened to me. I just can't see it. I used to enjoy taking the rally car, taking a rally cross car and going around dirt fish and just absolutely ripping it. Because there's a, there's a section on one of the tracks where it's like a really tight chicane going left and then right and then it's back on, I think it's through one of the barns that's on the dirt fish site. And going through there, like left and right, having the wall close to both sides of your car, it's so crazy. There still is no experience as adrenaline fueled and exciting as virtual reality Dirt Rally 2.0. Nothing can get more adrenaline fueled than that at all. Because of the fact that the game is smooth, it's one of the best VR experiences out there in terms of like racing games. And then on top of that, you're driving this massive car down this narrow road, narrowly avoiding trees, sliding it from side to side. Like, it's got everything that... Everything necessary. Uh, I got the Quest 2, uh, specifically just because it's better when it comes to sim racing, because it doesn't require base stations or anything like that. Um... It means you just put the headset on and the tracking's all sorted for you. It knows exactly where your head's pointing. It's also better because you can do it wirelessly with Airlink, which when you've got an internet connection as good as what I've got, um, it's near enough seamless it's pretty much as if the wire was connected so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace out